hey aquarius welcome back guys i hope you all are doing well today this is going to be for anybody with aquarius placements in their chart make sure you guys flip and switch the rose and just take what resonates leave what doesn't fit for your situation guys okay let's tap into your energy aqua let's see what's going on here um anything you need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box okay please be aware of the fake pages on this platform and any other social media platform okay please don't get scammed all right um and yeah let's see what's going on here aqua let's see spirit guides angels ancestors ascended masters please return any spell work any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and your loved ones me and my loved ones return it back to the sender thank you so much spirit let's see what's going on for you aqua Messages for Aquarius spirit. Give me clear messages for Aquarius. What do they need to hear and know? Okay, third party situation at the bottom of the deck. Oh boy, let's see what's going on here, spirit for Aqua. Okay, good. So we have happiness. Happiness is here or on its way, expressing gratitude, please, with life. So we have the fifth house one's hobbies interests recreation on leisure activities what one does for entertainment okay that's leo energy that's your polar opposite sign aquarius so what's the fifth house though okay having receipts someone has been keeping tabs taking notes on you and keeping all of your details all right we got soul contract you are under a soul contract with someone, twin flame, soulmate, karmic, and then we have butting heads, fighting, getting into arguments, someone is a, someone is in conflict, passive aggressive, sabotaging. Bottom of the deck is projecting and glowed up here. Rich, intelligent. <laughs> yeah, earth angel and letting go. Yeah, I feel like y'all are moving away from the drama. There's some sort of situation here that you're just not interested in. Just period, especially whoever this earth angel is. Um, something that someone does for fun or does for entertainment is getting exposed. You could be in the entertainment industry. Whoever this is, they could be stealing like your work or something like that. Someone could be someone could have receipts on someone paying for something, like actual like receipts from a store or them purchasing something, them going somewhere. It's something that somebody do here that's getting their ass caught up. Let's see, though. Let's see what this is here. But happiness is on its way, it looks like. Some of y'all could be in a twin flame connection. You could be dealing with a karmic soulmate currently. Or you could be getting ready to go towards your twin. Or we going to see. Yeah, thank you, Spirit Confirmation. King of Cups, Four of Wands. This could also represent somebody here that's married. King of Cups is a married man. Or woman but let's see though what's happiness here for aqua what's happiness here for aquarius see what's making you happy Okay, the Knight of Swords, Gemini Energy, the Four of Wands, Aries, Venus. So somebody could be coming towards you here. Okay, to communicate with you, this person, I feel like they want to have, they have something to say. There's some sort of truth, okay? They could be trying to come past your home. They could be trying to like see you physically with the Four of Wands here, okay? Um... There could be a lot of goals that you're achieving at this time or you're making a lot of like leeway um, with whatever you have that's going on here. Okay, some of you guys could be even attending a wedding or you could just be around people or getting ready to meet people of your soul tribe. Excuse me. 8 to 8 on the clock. That could be, um, ooh, excuse me, Aquarius. 444 on the timer. Okay, messages are coming through. When I start doing all that shit. Um, 
yeah there could be some sort of reunion coming in but i was going to say some of y'all could actually be attending a wedding or a family event okay the knight of swords is someone that's very um they could be kind of like heroic or there could be some sort of big opportunity coming in that you need to seize or you could also be in some sort of like leadership position where you're taking a lead or you're, you're kind of like going against the flow here that is your energy aquarius you're very rebellious you're a rebel here you kind of like you don't you don't conform really you don't go with the tide i feel like you go after the things that you want or it's kind of like in your nature they're kind of like uh you don't like authority and you don't like to be feeling like restricted or bound very free spirit is signed so i feel like you're going after what it is that you want to go after just period just period let's see what's happiness here give me more okay yeah six of cups in reverse scorpio energy so you could be releasing something from the past there could have been some past influences here that had you kind of like stagnant or stuck or you could have some sort of rose tinted view of the past okay something that you didn't understand about your past here but uh before but i feel like you're releasing it you're letting it go all right you're maturing some of you guys if you are if you have some sort of drinking problem or drug addiction or something like that yeah not uh the hermit you guys could have visited a, visited a um i was gonna say psychiatrist some of y'all could have visited a psychiatrist or you could have uh could be graduating from some sort of like program where you had to get counseling or therapy or something like that or this could just be you healing and doing your shadow work here with the virgo energy so let's see what's the knight of swords Okay, four of cups. Um, someone could have a cancer moon. So the four of cups is kind of like refusal of an offer, or this is kind of like a... I feel like you are turning down an offer because you're leaving something from the past behind. But there is a... Maybe you could be getting into meditation practices practices a little bit more as well also um what am i trying to say spirit <laughs> i'm getting a lot of messages at one time i feel like uh you're realizing that nothing is going to happen if you don't take action just period um with the four of cups i could talk about kind of like a uh, daydreaming or like you're fantasizing about something a little bit you're yearning for something so you have to take action to do it okay so i feel like you're kind of like getting up here making some shit shake because otherwise you know the situation you're not going to get yourself out of it if you don't take action the knight of swords is very ambitious they're very goal oriented and goal driven so i feel like that's what you're doing or somebody's coming towards you with something I was getting to somebody could be a little bit like aggressive towards you at this time. Like they could be a little bit upset that you turn their offer down or you're ignoring it or something like that. I feel like you're going to snap out of something real quick and take action because you could be like focusing on the negative aspects of your life. And I feel like you don't need to be doing that. You need to get back focused. Knight of Swords. What's the four ones? Okay, yeah, four swords. You guys could be seeing four, four, four for sure. All right, someone could have a Libra Jupiter. So, um, I feel like this is you with the four swords here. I feel like you're planning for your future. You could be coming into some sort of like stability. You could be focused on your stability. You could be getting a new home. Like I said, it's a lot of milestones that you are like uh, achieving. Like you're achieving a lot of like goals here. A lot of your goals that you have set for yourself. So I feel like you could be, Definitely somebody here could be getting some sort of spiritual counseling or um, with the four swords. You could be just like healing, recuperating, resting. Okay, but this does talk about planning for the future as, as well. Okay, you're in some sort of peaceful environment possibly with the four wands upright or you're getting ready to be in one. All right, I feel like you're, you're just seeking peace and solitude in your life right now. And I feel like that's what's coming in or if it's already here. Okay, y'all could have been stressing about a home situation or like a, you could have been having problems with stability for yourself. But I feel like you are 
like I said, you're realizing that ain't nothing going to come to you. Ain't nothing going to fall out the clear blue sky. You got to make it, make it work. You know what I'm saying? I feel like for some of you too, since something is like at a stalemate, it's not really moving. You're not going to sit and wait on it. Yes, yeah, it's still the same thing. You got to go towards your own happiness. You can't sit and wait on somebody to kind of like get their shit together or come towards you properly. So I feel like you're moving forward. Okay, like what's the Six of Cups in reverse? The Temperance. Yeah, you're healing from um, a past situation. Sagittarius energy with the Temperance. So I feel like definitely, yeah, more peace, harmony, and happiness is coming in for you. <clears throat> okay, you could be healing from like some, some um, childhood wounding here. I don't know if it could be abuse or, you know, trigger warning, but. I feel like the divine intervened in something here from your past. But I see more balance, more security here coming in for you more stability so this looks good what's the fifth house we have in receipts something that you could do aquarius or cross watcher you could do something that you are good at doing like this could be a creative hobby or something that you're passionate about with the fifth house and somebody could be getting receipts from it like i'm a tarot reader you guys could be one or you could do something like that that's helping somebody see it's something. Let's see though. Let's see. What's the fifth house? With having received spirit. Okay, that wanted to come out. Taurus energy with the King of Pentacles, the Death card, Scorpio, and then we have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, something somebody was paying for. King of Pentacles is somebody that's a grounded, like, businessman. They're a really good businessman, businesswoman. Could be anybody. Flip it, switch it. Um... This could be like an empire someone is building. The King of Pentacles also is someone that has status. They have some sort of status. Um, this person is very generous, very kind. They like they, you know, they enjoy sharing with other people. Um, <clears throat> very hard worker as well. Hmm. Something here is over though. Something, something is over. Okay, four of pentacles is like saving. I feel like you guys could be saving your money. I'm hearing somebody has a separate business account or bank account that they hiding from somebody. <laughs> okay. Um, four of pentacles talks about like control and possessiveness, kind of like holding on to something, or you could be holding back from someone. You could be holding back from giving to someone because you have some receipts on somebody doing something with your finances. So, like say some of y'all could be married or you were married to somebody. You could have been noticing like your money leaving your accounts or I don't know. It's something fishy going on here with finances and your stability. Something that someone does offer your dime possibly that you could be seeing. Yeah, somebody. <clears throat> yeah, nine of cups, the moon, the six of wands. Let's see, who this King of Pentacles right here? Nine of Wands in reverse. Sagittarius Moon, somebody could have. King of Cups, Seven of Swords, the Queen of Swords. Page of Cups. So I'm getting, you could be the provider and protector of someone, but I feel like you're not no more. <clears throat> somebody could have been cheating. This King of Cups has been coming out a lot here. This Queen of Swords, somebody that you could be getting a divorce from. They could have been cheating and shit like that. There could be a child involved now or something. I'm also getting, if this is you and the Queen of Swords, energy or cross watcher, if this is you, this person could be coming towards you. 
but I feel like they're lying about something or they could just be lying about their feelings. But I feel like they're lying about something important. So you have questions about what they're lying actually about. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the nine of wands in reverse is definitely like um, somebody that lacks compromise or they're failing to kind of like work with you here. This could talk about you like giving up or somebody is like, this is like giving up at like the final hurdle here. Before something could actually pop off, I feel like you caught somebody doing something or something like that. This could be somebody too that got kind of like got a chip on their shoulder. Or I feel like somebody is just too grounded and stable to kind of like be going through unnecessary bullshit. I feel like somebody is really focused on their money right now. Okay. What's this? Give me more on this King of Pentacles. Something is ending here. Because somebody is just tired. Not a wands in reverse to talk about chronic fatigue. Like, yeah, three of wands, three of swords, three of wands. What's the nine of wands in reverse? Okay, yeah, the magician in reverse. Yeah, somebody here is like greedy. They're greedy or some sort of trickster energy here. The magician in reverse too could represent like magic somebody been doing. You could have found receipts on somebody like doing magic on you. Okay, or whoever this is is just very manipulative. For some of you, somebody here was trying to block your psyche and they was doing this shit for shits and giggles. Whoever the fuck this is. Yeah, now they're sad. <clears throat> yeah, this is... I feel like somebody here is just like... They greedy and they selfish. They only worry about themselves. Definitely something was causing you... Something was like a... There was a lack of mental clarity here. Yeah. I feel like you got receipts on somebody either knowing magic on you or you're seeing that somebody's just greedy, greedy. They're using you for your finances. Just period. What's the Four of Pentacles? The Ten of Swords. Yeah. Somebody is like using spell work here. This is a curse, a hex, the devil poking out here. The Hierophant. Yeah. Some sort of group. Oh, here, somebody that you sleeping with every day, you married to or whatever. Somebody doing some sort of magic here. <clears throat> could be a Gemini Gemini strong here. Somebody could be on the Taurus Gemini cusp. Or the, somebody could have a Taurus or a Scorpio north and south node. It could be flip and switch, okay, with your south node, your north node. Yeah, there, there's a, b a big betrayal. Ten of Swords is like, a, definitely like I said, a curse or a hex to keep control of you, to keep holding you for finances. All right. <clears throat> definitely a betrayal, though. Some sort of betrayal came out here. Could have been your family involved, Ten of Cups, or somebody you got kids with. So now you're going through a major change and rebirth, death and, yeah, death and rebirth or transformation. What's the death card? Yeah, the Hermit, Virgo energy, and the Two of Swords. Yeah, Libra Moon. So, yes, there is something that you've been enlightened to here with the Hermit. <clears throat> you could be doing a lot of shadow work here, or you could have kind of like went ghost on the situation just to kind of like get clear headed on what this is. <clears throat> but I feel like you did find something. You went snooping or you investigated something. Definitely um, spiritual enlightenment. Soul searching here. Because the two of swords is you not really seeing clearly or... Um, something here blocked. Your heart chakra could have been blocked or could be blocked here. Two of swords is like having to make a tough decision or a hard choice. But I feel like you were kind of like too overwhelmed to make it. Or maybe you was in denial. Something, somebody was in denial about what they were seeing. They had to get proof themselves. <laughs> that could be you, uh, Aquarius. You, you be like that. I mean, that's that's good, though. You got to get proof yourself. 
you know, something was a learning curve for you. You needed to learn something yourself. So even if somebody was telling you something, it's like, you know, it maybe seem foreign to you, whatever somebody was saying, especially if it's magic. A lot of people don't believe in that shit or they don't really understand that people are fucking magic is happening every day. <laughs> the shit that you speak out of your mouth is spell work, it's magic. You know what I'm saying? Like people don't really understand the depths of that and especially black magic. And they also don't, a lot of people don't understand white magic either and how it could benefit you. If you're, if you have good intentions with your magic, you know what I'm saying? If you're not sitting around doing this shit, whatever this bullshit is here. Yeah, but the will of fortune here is something you had to see for yourself or the universe had to, or source or God or whatever you subscribe to had to show you this shit yourself in order for you to kind of like believe that it's true. So I feel like you're ghosting a situation. You're cutting it off here. Some of you got, yeah, there's a crow. They represent black magic, but they also represent transformation. If you hear them early in the morning, which it is early in the morning, that could talk about your day going well as well. So currently I feel like you could be um, doing some shadow work here. You're going within because there's a major ending here in your life and you're trying to find all the answers out. You're trying to find out what the fuck this shit is here. <laughs> like, just period. What's soul contract? Excuse me. What's soul contract here? The seven of wands, Leo Mars here. Then we have the king of wands, Leo energy, Leo sun. Somebody could be. Yeah, so I feel like you're gaining some sort of confidence here, um, Aquarius, to kind of like fight back. There is some sort of challenging relationship possibly with a karmic soulmate. All right, I feel like you could be blocking this person out or just like, I feel like there's a need to kind of like stand up for what you believe in. It could, you could be standing up here at Three of Swords. You could be standing up here for your twin flame connection against a karmic. All right. Yeah, and the King of Wands, they're going to assert themselves accordingly. They're, they're very passionate. They go after what they're passionate about. Okay, somebody could be really nice looking too. Someone could have model type features, whether you're a man or woman. What's the soul contract here? So there's something. I feel like you blocked someone. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles. You guys will be seeing 777. Someone could have a tour of Saturn. So this is you like reassessing something, reevaluating something, or this could be you doing some self-evaluation, your damn self on yourself. All right. Um, something has taken a while. Something has taken patience. All right, with the seven of pentacles. But I feel like you are, you're now um, making better investments, making better choices here. Taking your time to evaluate anything before making a decision, or this is what you've already done. Yeah. What's the seven of uh, pentacles? Some of you guys could be going into an entrepreneurship role here. You could be starting a business, or you have a business going. Could be getting some sort of inheritance or yeah i mean with the twin flame you do inherit i feel like twin flames are very deep relationships obviously i have a twin flame channel guys if you want to go you know watch the twin flame readings you have two of cups there's a relationship here that i feel like you inherited i feel like you are the inheritance okay that's what i'm getting like you are the inheritance you are the star of the show here especially if you're a twin you have some sort of gift that you've inherited that I feel like maybe you could be noticing about yourself or this relationship here is the inheritance. It's something that's been passed down to you that's for you. Y'all just saw the high priestess, the hierophant together. So yeah, strong twin flame. What's the seven of pentacles? Yeah, eight of wands. So there's some positive communication coming through or this could be you kind of like... um building your finances up in order for you to travel or move. Um, yeah, you could be moving. There could be some sort of like a sudden or quick changes coming through 
If you're waiting for some money to come in, a payout or something like that, it could be coming very quickly, maybe within the next eight days. There's something that you've been waiting for for a while to invest in. I feel like it's coming through. Yeah, three of cups, the lovers, the six of wands. Yeah, it's this relationship. Someone could have a Sag Mercury. What's the King of Wands doing? Three of Cups. So I feel like this is more you, Aquarius, than this Taurus, this King of Pentacles. <clears throat> Somebody could be doing magic on someone's finances and shit. Hmm. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, the Moon. Yeah, Nine of Cups, the Six of Wands. Somebody could be in the public eye here. Someone trying to fuck with someone's stability. Or curse or hex somebody's like, yeah, their finances or something. But I feel like um, you could be coming into more recognition, more praise here for maybe what you do for work. Or there could be, like I said, some sort of reunion, reconciliation with the Three of Cups. All right, you could be meeting new people, like making connections, making new friends. Okay, um, these could be like people that you like resonate with at this time, but or you could be making meeting new people that really lift you up. Okay, they really make you feel better about yourself, which is good. But there is some sort of reconciliation, I feel. Mm-hmm. What's butting heads here? Will of Fortune with the Page of Wands. Strong Sagittarius here or um, Leo too. I'm not getting a lot of Aries. I get Sagittarius and Leo strongly but you do have some good news coming in here page of wands with the will of fortune this is like good fortune your blessings coming through here um sudden changes okay um there's some communication coming through here i feel like you're really getting ready to step into your purpose you're going towards your north node energy yeah, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Two of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Six of Wands. Let's see, what's the budding heads? Give me more. Five of Swords, yeah. Two of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Someone could have an Aquarius, Venus, so... There's some energy of like defeat here. There's some sort of victory that you got with the Five of Swords and the Page of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like there's some sort of cycle that's just like, it's karmic, it's closing out here. Things are changing now, the wheel can turn because um you stood up for yourself, Five of Swords. You fought back against some sort of like bullying or somebody trying to intimidate you or do some little underhanded crooked shit here. I feel like you're surrendering something Let's see, what's the Five of Swords? Yeah, Seven of Cups. What's the Five of Swords with the Seven of Cups? Someone could have a, a Scorpio Venus placement. Ten of Pentacles, yeah. Yeah, the moon, the devil coming, like, sticking out on the side. Five of Cups, Six of Swords. Hmm. Somebody could be potentially missing out on an opportunity because of their fear and they whatever. Or that could just be that somebody's like angry, they pissed off, they upset, resentful, bitter about something. Someone could have a Virgo Mercury here. So yeah, um, somebody is trying to fuck up whatever this inheritance is. So, okay, whatever this Ten of Pentacles is, y'all could be getting a huge payout. This could actually be like real money coming in. Or this could be like something that you've inherited from a past life. It's time for you to reenact it in this lifetime and do a better job at moving forward in this lifetime. Because clearly I feel like you you reincarnate because you ain't learned something or something ain't go right in a past life. So you, you're here again. This is okay. Honestly, I feel like where we're at currently is hell. 
to be honest. It's it's up to you to make it heaven on earth. It's what I'm getting. Well, what I'm saying, just learning about life in general. Because, I mean, all this shit that we're subject to being a victim of, like murder, you know, just criminal activity, a lot of temptation here on the 3D plane. I feel like this is definitely hell. <laughs> you got to make it heaven on earth, though, by doing your healing work, your shadow work. And then when you pass away again, wherever your soul goes to, it's just going to, you you know, you're going to. Um, but some people, like I said, though, I feel like some people, well, like I said to myself or the shit that I'm studying, some people are sitting here on assignment. <clears throat> you feel me? Everybody got a purpose when they come here. But I feel like some people have our old souls here. They done been through a lot already. And some people are just sent on assignment, like star seeds, light workers to fucking help the world. Um, um, to help uh people awaken here. Okay, to help people level up with their consciousness. Cause I mean, you fought a lot of battles. Some people are spiritual warriors here. I feel like twins are for sure. Um and you know people that are heavily protected that's put on here to fight these battles to help people awaken you're being protected as you um heal and work through whatever this mess is that you got going on in this lifetime like i feel like this place is kind of like hell though because all the shit that you are subject to you know chosen ones they have some sort of like not to make nobody else feel no kind of way, right? You know, if you're chosen or not, that's just what it is. Some people are, some people ain't, you know what I'm saying? Don't get your panties in a bunch. Everybody got a different purpose here. Some people chosen, some people are sent here. I feel like for pure, they're catalysts here. Some people, I feel like everybody's sent here to learn a lesson, but they don't really get the big picture. So they got to reenact the shit again or do this shit over and over again until they get it. And some people don't ever get it. I feel like a lot of people are sent here for evil purposes, which help the chosen ones uh which helps god you know what i'm saying in turn because i feel like if you're chosen you're sent here because you're a spiritual warrior god chose you to do something very specific here to help to help just period so yeah but we're not gonna get into all that but i'm just saying um there could be a lot of options in front of you. There could be a lot of options and choices and things like that. I feel like somebody's just trying to confuse you, though. They're trying to make it seem like, well, this ain't for you or whatever this is ain't for you. It is. I feel like a lot of new doors and a lot of new opportunities are open, opening up for you to, to have a business or run an empire or just like build. Some of y'all are meant to be rich here. You're meant to have money. You're meant to have wealth. Rich in spirit. You're meant to be rich in spirit. You're meant to be wealthy <clears throat> physically, mentally, emotionally. Okay, I feel like, you know, that's what's happening. You, you, Something that's destined is coming in here. This Ten of Pentacles, it could be this Twin Flame connection or it could be just you, you know, finding your purpose. Somebody trying to like play games here. What's this? Um... What's this uh, Will of Fortune? Five of Wands. Yeah, there's something that's chaotic. There's some sort of sudden upheaval and chaos going on here with the Will of Fortune. Things are turning in your favor. But um, you guys will be seeing 555. Five, five. There's like pettiness, fights and shit. Yeah, I mean, I say that. You could definitely be butting heads with somebody or somebody's in competition with you. They, Whoever this is, they don't want to see you in your will of fortune energy they don't want to see things work out for you or make progress they can definitely be in some sort of heavy competition for this damn ten of pentacles they fighting real hard to stop this from coming in for you could be multiple people doing this okay yeah the sun somebody's like miserable the sun in reverse <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. The Emperor of the Tower. Mm -hmm. mm. This is Five of Wands. The world. Yeah, something... Somebody here could be war but now, <clears throat> excuse me, or seen in the public eye for some of you. This could be like online shit, some, something going on online here. 
somebody could be trying to stop you from moving here Aquarius too but with the world yeah a cycle has closed out and somebody else is like mad about it or because you close the cycle out they're upset and you're, you're going towards your north node just period you're not I feel like you're not trying to stay in a south node energy you're not meant to anyway yeah three of swords three of wands somebody's like moving or oh, they, they they just ready for growth and expansion but the world talks about definitely a big achievement that you've made here. What's the page of wands? Or this is somebody else says cross washer energy. What's the page of wands? Yeah, look at this shit. This is fucking dark magic and shit like that. Abusing divination. Okay, some sort of plan or strategy that didn't work. All right, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's this page of Pentacles in reverse? The Empress. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, two of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Yeah. So, you know. What's the Empress doing? Someone could be doing a lot of mirror magic. Yeah, Five of Cups. Scorpio, Mars here. Yeah, Six of Wands, the High Priestess. Somebody's in heavy competition with this Empress because they could be a tarot reader. They could be a psychic. Very, very, very intuitive. Could be a Pisces. Somebody could have a Leo Jupiter. Yeah, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands. Could be Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn. That's in competition with a Divine Feminine, with the Empress. Mm -hmm. it's something that you do that you're very i mean i feel like you're very creative you're you're very inspiring you're very uh, motivational with the empress and the page of wands somebody is like trying to do they could be trying to like block your sacral energy they're trying to stop you from create creating they're trying to stop you from having the desire to do something okay it's something that you could do for work or somebody is trying to block your creative pursuits here because they're in competition with you and it's ten of pentacles this could be your masculine going through this shit here or this could be because i see the yeah the devil whoever this devil energy is i don't know the moon you yeah, the eight of swords somebody doing like heavy spell work here could be on a taurus or a libra somebody trying to fuck with someone finances currently nice try bitch and it's not working either give me more clarity on this spray of spirit We have, yeah, conspiracy. Other people plotting to keep you apart. Yep, you and your person. <laughs> Clearly. Insatiable, unquenchable, wanting more. What's insatiable? Love affair in reverse. Dirty little secret down low. Mm. Irreconcilable differences. Yeah, divorce finals. So somebody here is going through a breakup or... You know, it doesn't have to be a divorce. It could be something else, but you are getting rid of somebody's ass, though. I feel like somebody here could be kind of like very sexual. This person here wants to have, wants to keep having sex with you. And this is how they're trying to keep you apart. <laughs> they do a lot here to keep, to try to keep you and this person apart. What's, what's, uh, what's, um, what else? Some of y'all getting rid of a cheater. Yeah, destruction. Friends or family trying to keep you two apart. Once again, what's destruction? What is the problem? I mean, I feel like I feel like just because it's a two, yeah, irreconcilable differences, divorce final. So now people are mad. They mad here, these people. Impact, trying to make a positive impression on you. Testing the waters, seeing how far they can push you. What's testing the waters? 
somebody is like really testing your gangster here, period. They, okay, crickets. Silence, non-action. What's testing the waters with crickets? Lost. Yeah, ghosted, blocked, cut off. So somebody here is picking with you to see if you're going to get them attention or not. And I feel like you're not. <laughs> you're not paying them no mind here. You've gone silent on them, but they really are trying to test you, though. <clears throat> What's impact? Trying to make a positive impression on you. Cheaters. <laughs> Got busted in public. Mm. So this could be your person here that got with the karmic. And then now they could be trying to make a positive impact on you. Or this is this damn losing ass karmic that's trying to make a positive impact on whoever. Uh, trying to make a positive impact on a, either your divine masculine to make them come back to them. Like they're doing everything that they can to try to get this person to come back. And this person is not going back. This is their diet. Okay, what else? This contract is over. No magic or nothing like that is working. Yeah, hamster wheel, surviving daily hustle. Somebody focus on their money. Legal court paperwork file. <laughs> the great pretender acts uninterested but stalks you. What's the great pretender? Divine masculine. Yeah, this person. I feel like, uh, what's the great pretender with the divine masculine? Not 100% fake as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> For some of you. <clears throat> this great pretender here. I feel like your person does watch you. They watch you a lot, but they act like they're uninterested. But I feel like they do this because they have somebody fake as fuck around them. Or they're dealing with some sort of fights and arguments here. Okay, I feel like you feel like this person is lying to you. So you could be kind of like walking away right now because you're just like, okay, well, you keep lying. Then, yeah, there's some online drama going on here, like I said. What's this Divine Masculine doing, Spirit? What's this card specifically? Anxiety, yeah. <laughs> Scared, panic. What's Divine Masculine? racing running and avoiding yeah i feel like you're 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 over that shit this person here got your ass caught up in some whole other shit that they can't even explain i feel like you're over it you want to let these bitches you know what i'm saying because i feel like whoever the empress is you're moving on bitches sitting around doing spell work attacking you every day from their end from your divine masculine and i feel like it's not affecting you it's not bothering you you're moving on this is something that this divine masculine got to get out of and I feel like the more that they keep running from it, the longer it's going to take to come into union and the longer it's going to take for them to get their shit together. Just period. You know what I'm saying? Twin flame or not. I mean, I encourage twins to get together, reunite, do what y'all got to do because that's the whole goal is to fucking reunite within yourself and then reunite with your person because y'all got something here to do. But the longer this person take, the longer it's going to be harder for them to fucking return to you here. Right, but just be, I mean, I feel like as the Empress, as a divine feminine, just be open. Yeah, open door. Thank you, spirit. Leaving room for you to return. Those of you that are in a twin flame connection, you know what I mean when I say have an open door, you know, because <clears throat> that is your divine masculine. And yes, yeah, so regardless, if they are your divine masculine or not, you got to set boundaries. I feel like that's what you need to do. Set healthy boundaries because this person, they're at, they're at, Right now, they feel like, you know, they they just can't come towards you. And I feel like you're tired of this fucking loop-de-loop -loop cycle with this person not speaking up or not telling you the truth or having all this shit going on, but not really saying what the fuck it really is and what it's not. That's just like them not respecting your boundaries. So you have to walk away. In a twin flame connection, you have to walk away here. I'm not saying like whole resentment or be bitter. Real twins, twins don't even get like that, you know? So, you know, it just, it is what it is. It is what it is right now. And I feel like uh, <laughs> they got to get themselves out of this fucking um, mess. What's this legal court paperwork file? So in flame, relationships is all about unconditional love. And you could definitely love people from afar. You can't allow them to disrespect you, twin flame or not. Wish, hope, praying, yearning. <clears throat> What's legal with, with wish here? Unsure. Communication not clear. Hello. Somebody is trying to get themselves out of something here. 
they trying to, for some of you, this person is trying to get a divorce and somebody here just don't want to sign the paperwork or something. <clears throat> or somebody is already going through a court situation where somebody got this person blocked. All right, somebody is now blocked from being able to get through to someone because they got like a protective order or a restraining order or something like that. But if they had a restraining order, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be doing all this shit that they doing. All this fighting and arguing and shit was unsure. Communication not clear. Some of y'all could not. Okay, project it. Yeah, future days, weeks, months. So something here <clears throat> is going on with the court case that's taking a while. Yeah, they single though. Gamble, about to take a risk to see you. Single, current status available. Yeah, interview, talk, conversation, get on the same page. Divine feminine. Yeah, something about the past here. This person, I feel like they're coming with some communication. So, I mean, it's just everybody's on different timelines on their journey. You don't know when this person come in or whatever the fuck. What's not 100% fake as fuck? Nightlife, gamble, take a risk, Vegas. What's not 100% fake as fuck? Somebody could live in Vegas here. Flaker, yeah, inconsist inconsistent. <clears throat> Settlement, agreement, compromise, layers, multiple factors. Yeah, karmic, third-party relationship lesson, TikTok. Deadline, time running out. Yeah, this comic really got somebody in the chokehold and that's on they stupid ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a stupid ass comic and then your masculine, they got to like get it together. I don't know what to say. <clears throat> I really don't. But it do look like there's a divorce and the family members are involved and everything like that. <clears throat> really trying to keep y'all two apart. I feel like this is this comic's family members. I don't feel like this is your person's family. And if they was on this, if they was on this karmic, if your fa person's family was on this person's, on this karmic side, they're not no more. So, <laughs> no, no, this is your reading no aqua. Ugh, okay, like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.